Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss about how to save first and last elements from an array. So, suppose enter the array size, so I enter 5, so right here, I enter 5 elements 12, 7, 6, 4, 89. So, right here, 12, it's the first position, so that must be displayed in the last. And here, 89 is the last position, so that must be displayed in the first. So, let's write the code inside the main. Function. So, at here I am going to take int is the variable n and here after next is tan and here after let us write the printer function and here I am going to write into the size of array. And here after, let's write a scanner function. So add your percent b and percent n. And here checking integer variable a double r and here n. And here after write to printer function one more time. Printer function and here in double quote into percent d elements here yeah, class n and n and here after writing follow and here taking integer variable i that is start from 0 and the condition i less than n and i plus plus and here after a scan of function and here percent d and m percent a double r of i here after tam equal to a double r of 0 or a double r of 0 equal to a double r of n minus 1 and here after n double r n minus 1 equal to tan and here after printer function going to write and in the double code after swapping first and last elements and here writing follow one more time and here taking integer variable i that is start from 0 and the condition i less than n i plus plus and here after printer function and here percent d slash t and here a double r of i so this is the code to save first and last elements of from an array. So let's execute the code and check whether it's the working right or not. So enter the size of array. So I'm going to enter 5. So let's enter 5 elements. First is 77, 9, 23, 67, 21. So 77 is the first time. So it's come in the place of 21 and 21 that go to 77 position. So here, after swapping the element, it's uh, displaying 21. So 21, it's come first, and here 77, it's go last. So getting the right output, and uh, let's execute the code one more time. And here, this time I'm going to enter 7. So let's enter 7 element 12, 9, 78, 5, 
32, 8, 6. So look at the total element of 7. And your 12 is the first position, so it's a in last. And your or 6 is the last position, so it's the first. Next time we'll discuss what the trial method of this program. So here's the code that I paste. So if you debug the code, control comes to main function here after that coincide. So right here I've taken integer variable n and here after tam. Now here after control comes to print a function. So this or display into the output screen, enter the size of array. And here a scanner function. So what do I am going to enter? So that received by n. So I am going to enter n value 5. Percent D because so n is integer and here ampersand n. So ampersand. So the value of n that is to some system generated address. Here after integer variable a double r. Here the size is now 5. A double r 5. Here after control comes to this point, printer function. So this all display into the output screen. Percent is the placeholder of n. So here the output screen dis or display into five elements. Here after slash and then cursor go to the new line. Here control comes to follow. Here integer variable i and here that start from zero. Check the condition 0 less than condition at here n value is 5. So condition 5. So 0 less than 5 condition is to slide coincide. So here a scanner function. So percent D because a over R is the integer tag. And here a scanner function. So that is to uh, enter the value in the memory. So let's create first array. And uh, here let's do the indexing so this is the zero index here one two three four so it's kind of function so that to read or that accept whatever the user into the element so at a eight over or zero person i'm going to enter nine and here after loop continue so i is now one Check the condition 1 less than 5 condition is true. So that time that read a double or 1 person value. So this time I'm going to enter 12. Here after i gonna increase so i is 2 now. Check the condition 2 less than 5 condition is true. So that coincides. So that's enter a double or 2 person value. So that time I'm going to enter 19. Here after i is now 3. Check the condition 3 less than 5 condition is true. So this time I'm going to enter a double or 3 person element. So right here 6. Here after i gonna increase, so i is 4 now. Check the condition, 4 less than 5 condition is 2, so that coincides, so that's into a double of 4 person element. So right here, I'm going to enter 12. Here after i is now 5. Check the condition, 5 less than 5, so this condition is not true, so control comes to this point. So right here, a double or 0 person value go to tam. So 0 person 9, so 9 go to tam. And here after a double or n minus 1. So n value is now 5. 5 minus 1, 4. So a double or 4 position value go to a double or 0. So 4 position value is now 12. So 12 comes to here. And here after time value go to n minus 1. So this is now 4. 5 minus 1, 4. So time value go to a double or 4 position. So time value is 9, so at here this position it's 9 curve. So at here new array elements are so this is a 0 index here 1, 2, this is 3 and here 4. So 12 comes to 0 index here after one more to have and here 19 6 and this 9 go to 4 index so this to have move to 0 index 
and here after printer function so this or display into the output screen after swapping first and last elements here control comes to this point so right here i value start from 0 again check the condition n value at here condition is 5 so 0 less than 5 condition is to that coincide printer function percent d because a double r is the integer time and here so this is the placeholder percent d for a double r i so i value is now 0 so this time that print a double r 0 position value so at here 12 display and here after that leave 8 character space here after that increase the value of i so i is now 1 check the condition 1 less than 5 condition is 2 so this time that display a double r 1 position value 12 display and here after i gonna increase so i is 2 now check the condition 2 less than 5 condition is 2 so this time that print a double r 2 position value so 19 display here after i is now 3 check the condition 3 less than 5 condition is 2 so this time that display a double r 3 position value so 3 position is 6 so 6 display here after i is now 4 check the condition 4 less than 5 condition is 2 so that display a double r 4 position value so 9 display here after i is now 5 check the condition 5 less than 5 condition is not true so that not coincide and here after that out for for loop and next that out for main function so this time i enter n value 5 and uh, here after the swapping the or 12 so this is the last uh, array element so it's come first so this is the first array element so it's, it's go to last so this is the output we get so next time you should try to enter n value like 8 so if you enter 8 so you have to enter 8 elements into the array and uh, the dry run or steps of execution almost same so do this uh, process definitely you will get the expected output so if you have any doubt related to this program so leave your comment definitely i will reply so one more thing I'm going to convert to this uh, program in C++. So only need to change the uh, add here C out. And here need to write the C in. And here C out. and dl and here c in and here after this point c out and here c in So this code is now converted into the C++ bank. So let's so check. Here enter the size of array. So I'm going to enter 5. So let's enter 7, 9, 45, 32, 88. So after swapping first and last digit element. So 88 is the last position. So it's come first. And 7 it's the first position. It go to last. And this is the rest elements 9, 45, 32. So it not changed. And uh, if you like to do the dry end method of this program, so follow these steps and uh, only see out so that print the things in output screen and see that read the uh, internal elements. So this is the difference. And if you are going to use uh, C out to and C in function, so uh, you have to include as include iostream.h header file. So now in this video it's over. So if you have any doubt related to this comment, definitely I will reply. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.